in this tutorial today we shall be learning some keyboard shortcuts in microsoft office there are so many keyboard shortcuts in the computer but today we shall concentrate on ctrl plus a to ctrl plus z in the microsoft office so ctrl plus a means select all documents so in microsoft word when we click ctrl plus a it will select the document where there are text in it it will not select any other place but in excel when we click ctrl plus a it will select the entire worksheet including where we have numbers and where we don't have numbers Control plus B means applying bold formatting to a highlighted text or text. So we highlight here. When we click Control plus B, it will bold the highlighted text or text. And in Excel, when you click on a, on a cell or multiple cells, when you apply Ctrl plus B, it will bold the selected areas. Ctrl plus C means copying the selected text to a clipboard. We have already selected here. When we use Ctrl plus C, here, when we click here now, we can paste what we copied in this place. The same thing applied in Excel. When you, when you copy the content of any cell with Ctrl plus C, you can paste it in any other cell. Ctrl plus D, open font formatting. So we we'll click Ctrl plus D. It has opened font formatting for us in Microsoft Word. We can change the font, use the italic or bold, you change the size and whatever have you. Ctrl plus E will center a text. Let's say we highlight here and then we use Ctrl plus E, it will center. If we put our cursor here as well and use Ctrl plus E, it will still do the same thing without highlighting. Ctrl plus F, we find a phrase. As we paste Microsoft here, it has dictated that we have two places that Microsoft was written in the text. In Excel, Ctrl plus F, we do the same thing, we ask you to find a particular word. Ctrl plus G, go to a specific page or bookmark. You can find what you are looking for by putting in the page number in this place. And the next cell, Ctrl plus G, we do almost the same thing. Ctrl plus H, replace text with another text. So click Ctrl plus H. So we have Microsoft Word. Let's say we want to replace it with MS. So we type in MS and then we replace two replacement you have made so now where we have microsoft word before is now ms word ctrl plus i this will italicize any highlighted text we have highlighted this text and when we use ctrl plus i it will make it italic and in excel ctrl plus i will as well make it italic ctrl plus j this will justify the highlighted text. So let's say we use Ctrl plus A to highlight. When we use Ctrl plus J, it has justified it. Ctrl plus K, this will insert hyperlink in a window. We highlight the text, then we use Ctrl plus K. When we click OK, it has added a hyperlink to this very text and in excel ctrl plus k 
we do exactly the same thing. So it has added hyperlink to this very number as well. Control plus L, we align Microsoft Word text to the left. Let's say we highlight the text and then with Control plus L, it has aligned the text to the left. Control plus M, indent a paragraph from the text. Control plus N will open new Word document. And in Excel, Control plus N will as well open new Excel. Control plus O will open an existing Word document in Microsoft Word. And in Excel, Control plus O will open existing Excel. Control plus P will prompt us to print a Word document. And in Excel, Ctrl plus P will as well prompt us to print the Excel worksheet. In Microsoft Word, Ctrl plus R we align the text to the right. Ctrl plus S we prompt you to save your document. This will happen if you have not saved the document for the first time. This is a new document that I have not saved for the first time. So when I use Ctrl plus S, it will prompt me to save my document. And if I have saved it before, this will not appear again, like in this one. It will not come up again. The same thing with Microsoft Excel. If it is a new Excel sheet, it will prompt me to save us. But since this is an old one, it will just save. Ctrl plus T will create a hanging indent in Microsoft Word. Ctrl plus U will underline the highlighted text in Microsoft Word. And in Excel, Ctrl plus U will as well the selected cells. We paste a copied text or number. We highlight this place, Ctrl plus V, copy with Ctrl plus C, and then with Ctrl plus V, we can paste the text. And in Excel, it does the same thing as well. With Ctrl plus V, you can paste what you copied. Ctrl plus W, we close your document. I have this new document opened. Once I click Ctrl plus W, it will close the document. And in Excel, I have a new Excel worksheet open with Ctrl plus W, it will close it. Ctrl plus X, we cut text or number. Let's say we highlight here with Ctrl plus X, we can cut it. And in Excel, with Ctrl plus X, it will show that it has been cut with this sign going around it. Use Ctrl plus V to paste it and remove it from the original place that it was. Ctrl plus Y will redo. Let's say we mistakenly remove this word here and then we want it back. We can use Ctrl plus Y to bring it back in Microsoft Word. In Microsoft Excel, so let's say this number we remove it in Excel and we want to redo it. We use Ctrl plus Y. Then Ctrl plus Z in Microsoft Word will undo a previous action. When you did Ctrl plus Z, it has removed the immediate previous action. And in Excel, Ctrl plus Z will keep removing the immediate previous action as it was in Microsoft Word. Please, if you have gotten any value from this video, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so YouTube will notify you once I drop a new video. Do share this video with family and friends. Have a wonderful day.